Hi, my name is Jake and I'm a motion designer from Ukraine. And now we will make this effect. Next week we will make this effect. This video is sponsored by Video Lancer. Are you familiar with these video transitions? Certainly you are. Nowadays, they are the most popular transitions on YouTube. Video Lancer Motion Designer, who developed them, have created more than 3,000 of such handy seamless transitions for After Effects as well as for Premiere Pro. Try them now. Free versions are available for all subscribers of Video Lancer channel. Links for downloading in the description. Let's get started. I'm working in Adobe After Effects CC 2015. This footage you can find in the description below. Let's drag and drop this footage on this icon here to create new composition. So as you can see, it's a few seconds of background. Now let's drop in here clones. So basically you need to shoot the scene where nothing is moving. So just shoot a clean plate, then walk into the frame and shoot yourself a bunch of times with some kind of motion like this. And then we will be able to cut ourselves out. You should be the only thing which is moving in the frame. Even light should not change. So let's select this footage, go to edit, duplicate. Then right mouse click on our footage and go to time, freeze frame. So now we would have this clean background. Let's shut these for now. Let's also press return on keyboard to rename it. Let's call it BG. And you can shut this layer off. Now let's go to effects and presets. Type here difference mat and then drag and drop on our clones footage. In difference layer, let's set it to BG. So basically plugin is looking what is different between background and our footage. So now we can change machine tolerance to see ourselves better. And then let's apply effect called matte choker. So as you can see now keying works fine. Let's use this mask tool here and cut out our shadow. Scroll down here, go to the mask and click invert it. Now we can apply curse effect. Just drag and drop and let's make some color correction to match scene better. Press S on keyboard to change scale and move it over here. Also we can rotate it. Press R on keyboard to rotate and you can adjust settings to get result which you like. So it looks good to me. Let's move it over here and now go to layer new adjustment layer. Let's apply curves effect and let's make overall color correction. Go to red channel and make this curve, then green channel let's break it down and blue channel also let's make it warmer. It will look better with our lasso effect. Maybe let's add a bit of contrast in RGB channel. Then let's go to layer, new solid. Let's call it Saber because this plugin we will use. This is free plugin from videocopilot.net. Link to it will be in description below. Let's drag and drop on our layer. So let's apply some changes. Let's change core size to 1. For now select this saber layer. Press T on keyboard and set opacity to 0. It will allow to select our layer and draw a mask on top while we see what is going on in background. So select this pen tool here and let's find the moment where I cut myself with the lasso. Just draw a line like this. Let's also add a few points. And then scroll down here to set a first keyframe to our mask path. Let's move it over, then select selection tool here and let's move our keyframes. So basically we are now simulating our rope is flying through the air to catch the arm. So let's move it over in time and also make few changes here. So you can experiment with this to get result which you like. Then let's scroll down here, press T on keyboard to see our opacity. Let's set it to 100. And now we can go to customize core. Core type, let's set it to layer mask. And layer itself, let's set it to add. Now we can view our animation and make adjustments which you need. I think it looks good. Let's also add secondary motion here. Just select these points. and move it over. Then select this keyframe, copy and paste here. Control C to copy and Control V to paste. 
Now let's select this clone's footage, press P on keyboard and set a keyframe right here. Then move her over about here and let's move position here. And the last keyframe, let's also move it over. So basically we're simulating some movement, like we are flying in the air. Then also let's move our mask to follow our position. Now let's change color to more orange look. Let's also change star size to 7. It will give some perspective to our rope, like we are far away from guy which we capture. And end size, let's set it to 145. In effects and presets, let's type fast blur. Drag and drop here. And let's set it to 2. So line would be not so perfect at the edges. You can also apply turbulence displays. I think amount minus 35 and size 2 looks good. As you can see, we give some imperfections, so it would look more realistic. Just duplicate a bunch of times our clones and you'll get much more interesting look. Let's also drag and drop our composition to create new composition on this icon here. Let's call it final. Change size to about 106. Press P on keyboard to see position. Then hold Alt key on keyboard and left mouse click on this stopwatch. Now you can write expression. Let's type in wiggle, open bracket, 1, comma, 35, close bracket. It will create some camera movement. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.